Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, first of all uh, category controller that is the category controller and here we have a category controller uh, in which I will use uh, a unit of work and there is the index method where we category VM is created you know that uh, the category VM so there is the category VM in, under the model folders uh, we have uh, there is nothing actually uh, can see just go to that section go to the definition and where we have a category VM the data access layer dot view models there is the folder in the data access layer there is the view models folder under the data section okay so uh, just uh, you can uh, uh, you can see your categories VM okay so a list of categories also there in the get all list and in the index.cshtml page uh, under the view section of category controller the controller admin category controller and uh, in the view section we have a category and index page there is the automatic generated page in the last video session you will see but i will change it my uh, section control a control c and you can see V and here we, you will see that uh, my apps dot so there is namespace shopping cart dot data access layer dot view models dot category VM okay so the problem is resolved okay so the next thing you can do first of all close this close all tabs and also close this part okay in the next section uh, of the category controller you can see create and update in the both uh, we have a HTTP get with a create and update method and ID uh, that is passed from the index method there is and here we have a index method ID is there when we click on the ID button that is the ID item dot ID is route ID that is uh, category ID you can say if ID is 0 ID is 0 and then return to view with uh, VM that is category VM so uh, that is written view that is create and update view okay so just uh, create a new view on the create update method so just click on it and update add view create razor view and the razor create update uh, views just create it empty default view and just copy that uh, create update methods which is inside in it wait for some times it's created okay so just replace that code from my code okay and I will show you the whole course there is the uh, model shopping cart dot models dot view models that is nothing is here dot data access layer dot view models dot category vm you can see and here we have a form methods and inside the method is post asp action is create update and the default is the category id you can say in the category vm we have a category uh, page uh, I you know that category VM is actually have a list of categories and the categories is there so you can see so there is category so category dot uh, category dot ID just I want to get and here we have a logics for create and update uh, button so model dot category is null and model dot category ID is zero then uh, you can say uh, that is the create button you will see ID is zero and if it is ID is not zero and null then you will uh, 
create a update category buttons so just uh, toggle that button uh, with the name okay so similarly with the name and the category will display in the input box okay if category is null and category id is zero then button is created that is create of the submit button and similarly we have id is not null and id is not zero then create update button okay so that is the section script you can see so there is the create and update button and there is the category controller here we you can see id is zero category vm is zero id is zero and the vm uh, is id is not equals to zero so just get the vm dot category uh, just load with the unit of work dot category dot get t instead of this and not found return not found if category is null and return vm okay that's mm, that's going on if create update the page is create update page if it is create models uh, id is zero then you want to say that create add a new category if id is not equals to zero then unit of work dot update method will fire on the create update and finally you can say that you know the work dot save method okay in the delete section you will call http delete id is zero then not found you know the work dot get t category is zero not found otherwise category is uh, just going to the category section so just add a delete post get uh, method so that view and Razor view just select it and delete and here you can see there is the delete.cshtml file so just control a control c and after that post that data here Okay, there is the category uh, directly the name of model is it here okay so you can see that delete is there save and delete post action method is there delete as to be cat and HTTP post is there HTTP action name is delete because both the data is same the parameter data is same there is the ID and also at here is the ID so that is the name is delete data and there is you know the work dot category dot delete category okay so deleted category is there so after that category controller is prepared and just run your project okay so after that you can see Okay, and uh, you will see that your output is there and uh, the category is there and the first category is related to your uh, uh, electronics items so list of categories here so just create it add create a new category name electronics and display order is one Okay, can just create it so here we have uh, some blackest data you will see there is the blackest the font is blackest so just uh, just change it in the future here you can see uh, index.css stimul file and text primary list of categories uh, we can text primary and table border and table stripes there is a nothing to uh, in the section but you can see uh, okay in the next section I will resolve these problems easily okay so just open bootswatch.com uh, And here we have a theme uh, so just copy that theme download it 
so bootstrap.css file and finally just copy that theme control P control C and just paste under your file solution of explorer and here you can see uh, models.utility and dependencies is web root folder CSS file GS file there is the CSS file scratchy.css so this control a control C control V okay so now just run it again okay and so finally the same uh, URL will open in the Chrome and the different uh, browser you can say so just you can use category and oops there is not because the compiler is not running and after that okay and display order is one 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 and action is not there action is not there so create a new category there is back to list okay that's fine and action is not there uh, in the action method so just resolve this problem easily and index.css file yeah is there create update ASP controller ASP item item dot ID B dot pencil is there but it's not visible just I want to say that add it edit and delete okay so just click on the edit button you will see that uh, electronics and display order and update categories also mentioned okay so there is the same logic at here create a new category so thank you guys for watching this video and the next section i will go for the uh, the next section that is that is what that is the product controller okay so just remove all these section and add a new controller for the product just copy and create category is there controller admin controller views and there is views okay